generally when people think about wine and food pairings, they do think about more savory food or even cheese pairings, but I think that's what makes dessert and wine pairings so unique is that it's not super common. I think there's just such versatility with wine, the same way you have this kind of blank or basic canvas with vanilla ice cream, and then it's what you add to it or what you pair it with. I think that wine is the same thing. We have so many amazing wines in our world. When we talk about the flavors of wine and what comprises those notes, we're talking about fruits, we're talking about butter, we're talking about vanilla. Those are all things that are in dessert. So today we would love to talk to you about dessert and wine pairings because this is what we do every day for Jackson Family Wines. We eat good food and we drink good wine. La Crema is a brand that makes sparkling wine. We're known as a Chardonnay and a Pinot house, but we make a delicious Blanc de Blanc. So we have our caramel corn. It's a recipe from our cookbook. Fresh air popped popcorn that we've tossed in caramelized brown sugar and butter. And it just has that really nice caramel, roasty, buttery, really salty, which is so nice with the Blanc de Blanc. I think it's the salt that really makes the key here because sparkling wine really loves salty food. Like one of my favorite things is French fries with bubbles. And so I really love that this has that, like that sweetness, you know you're getting dessert with it, but that salt really balances the sweetness and makes you want to go back for more of those sips of yeah. that delicious yeah. wine. And like you said with the potato chips, the crunch too. There's a, yes. there's a certain amount of crunch that goes really nice with with the Blanc de Blanc. Next we've got Matanzas Creek Sauvignon Blanc. What a great wine this is. It's it's crisp, it's fresh, it's refreshing. So you made a cheesecake with lemon curd. When I have something that's acidic, I like to start with a little bit of fat or some creaminess to like really carry that. Then we've topped that with lemon curd. So all those beautiful citrus and tropical notes, the lemon curd is gonna pair really well with that and kind of just like mesh and marry that. And then some candied citrus on top. We always gotta make it pretty. Next we've got La Crema Chardonnay. A lot of Chardonnays we get those beautiful apple notes, beautiful citrus notes. So an apple cobbler is the perfect kind of meshing of all the things. So we've taken beautiful fall apples, we've put them with lemon zest and tossed them, and then it's got like a biscuit topping that has that like buttery, caramely, vanilla-ness that a lot of Chardonnay has. I know that when you've made this dessert in the past, the apples are like just barely cooked, so they yeah. still have a little yeah. bit of texture, so they get a little bit of that fresh brightness. And of course, whipped cream on the top. Yes, yeah, so it's always. playing up all those great elements of the wine. Next, we've got La Crema Pinot Noir, and I, and I love sweets, um, but I also love cheese for dessert. What I've got here is Point Reyes Toma cheese, and what I love about this cheese is that it's got a lot of versatility. So it's got some richness and depth to it, that you would expect from dessert when you're eating dessert, but it also just has this little bit of saltiness, which is great when you're pairing with wine. Now I've got some cranberry relish here because that cranberry relish that has that nice tart, bright fruit flavor that is just gonna be a really great pairing altogether. Yeah, all the red fruit flavors, that like really bright, acidic, bright red. Yeah, I agree. And then our last pairing, we've got Kendall Jackson Vintners Reserve Cabernet. Cabernet can be challenging to pair with dessert, but what you did here is, I think, exactly, exactly, like right on for what's gonna work well with it. Yeah, so what we've done, and it's a super simple chocolate mousse, but we've taken it mocha mousse. So infused it with some espresso powder, giving it more layers and more like roastiness that goes so well with that Cabernet. Of all the desserts, that may look like one of the most fancy, but that was probably the easiest thing, and you can top it with anything. I mean, we can't stand here and talk about all these desserts <laughs> and not taste something, right? Let's do this, and then we got it. Cheese cheers. Cheese cheers, cheers and wine cheers. Wine cheers. cheers. Thank you for sharing all these delicious Thank desserts. You guys. Cheers.